In this series, we're going to talk about how to manage front-end assets in Laravel projects. By default, Laravel uses Vite to manage front-end assets. So we're going to take a look step-by-step -step at how to use Vite in the context of Laravel project. I've already created default Laravel project by running the following command, Laravel new, and the folder name with the project. So now let's open it up in the editor. In this series, I'm going to use PHP Storm. Default Laravel installation already includes Vite dependency inside package.json. But besides using Vite, we're also going to install a plugin called Vite Plugin Inspect, which is going to provide us with such dashboard where we can see how our front-end assets are being transformed before they are sent to the browser. Firstly, we're going to install this plugin by using npm and then include it in our vitconfig.js file. So right after we have run the command to install the plugin itself, I'm going to copy over the following import, open up my vit.config.js, and right here I'm gonna paste that import. And then inside of this array of plugins, I'm gonna call this plugin. And this way, our inspect plugin will be included. And from now on, anytime we're going to run with development server by running npm run dev, the inspector is going to be available under the following address, underscore underscore inspect. Now let's make sure that all npm dependencies are installed, including vid, by running npm install. And let's launch our application in the browser. For this, we can just run php artisan serve, which is going to serve our application locally. So our application should be available by the following address, localhost 8000. And indeed, we're seeing Laravel welcome page. So application is running. The blade view which is responsible for showing this page is called welcome.blade.php. I'm going to open up this file and remove everything. We're going to start with a very simple markup. I'm going to remove everything that is not related to the vid directly, so that we can focus fully on the vid functionality. Just to see something on the page, I'm going to add a heading, Laravel vid. Now let's rename this welcome file on index.blade.php. Then we can also remove this script with the name bootstrap.js. We're not gonna use it. And also, we have to remove the import of this file inside app.js. Now I'm gonna open up the file where all web routes are declared, which is web.php. From here I'm also going to remove an extra stuff and only add one declaration of one road, which is going to return our view index.blade.php. Just to make sure that it work, let's open up the browser and indeed we see our new page. But this page doesn't contain any CSS or JavaScript files yet. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually include JavaScript file called app.js to this page. So to include the file which is going to be served by vid, we have to use special directive provided by Laravel called vid. And as a first parameter, we have to specify the path to the file we'd like to include. In this case, I'm going to include default JavaScript file which resides inside resources JS folder. Currently, this file is completely empty. I'm going to add some content in here. For example, let's create each one element, then assign some content to this heading, and at the end, let's append this heading to the body element so that we can see this heading on the page. Now we can go back to our blade view and remove this h1 heading that we have added manually before, because right now the script should run and it should append the heading automatically. But looks like it didn't work, because we don't see any headings on the page. And the reason to that is because we haven't started our view development server, and Laravel is trying to load our script from the build folder, which is inside of public folder, but this file doesn't exist yet because we haven't built our project. So to be able to include front-end assets that are going to be handled by Vit, we have to firstly start Vit development server, and we can do so by running npm run dev 
in the project root. Here we can see the address of the vid development server, and just because earlier we have also installed vid inspector, we see another URL, which we can use to access inspector and see how our front-end assets will be transformed before they are sent to the browser. And indeed, now if we'll take a look on the page, we see our heading, that means that script we have included has run and added this heading on the page. But besides our script, VidBlade Directive also added another script, which will be used by Vid to automatically apply changes in the browser as we are going to modify our frontend asset without requiring to refresh the page manually. And by the way, this domain name corresponds to the localhost. And if we'll open up localhost colon 5173, which is vid server address, we can see vid server's welcome page. And also let's try to open vid inspector. So right now it only shows one JavaScript file because this is the only file which was handled by vid and sent to the browser. But as we can see for now it wasn't transformed and was simply handed over to the browser without any changes. It's also important to note that the pass to frontend assets we're going to pass to this vid directive, we should also specify them inside vid configuration file. In this array, under the input key, this option will then be used by Laravel vid plugin. Next, I'm going to include CSS file on the page, and besides passing only one pass to this vid blade directive, we can also pass array of multiple entries. So in this case, I'm including app.css as well as app.js. My app.css file is currently empty, so I'm going to quickly add some CSS rules in here, basically to make background color dark and apply a gradient to the heading. And by the way, link to the source code of this project will be available in the video description. So it's time to check the result in the browser, and indeed, we see that our styles were applied. And besides including JavaScript file, we also see another link tag, which includes CSS file. And if we'll take a look at the vid inspector, this time we see two entries in here, because currently we're including two files on our page that are handled by vid. But what happens if we actually stop the vid server? Let's go to terminal and exit the server. And after this, if we refresh the page in the browser, we don't see the heading anymore. That is because if vid server is not running, vid blade directive tries to include CSS and JavaScript files by using different paths. As we can see, it tries to include frontend assets by using build directory. But this directory doesn't exist yet because we haven't run the command to build frontend assets. We're going to talk more about the build process in upcoming lessons. And at this point, let's finish the first lesson. Link to the source code of this project will be in the video description. And there will be separate branch for each lesson, where branch name will correspond to the lesson number. And each branch will contain two commits. The first commit will store the starting code of the lesson, and the second commit will store the finished code of the lesson. Let's continue in the next one.